Anyway. What should we... Oh! Can I find the button? No, let's see. Backlog! 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 Hey everybody! Welcome to the backlog. How you doing? Good to hey, see you, Will. What that's is that? that time of the time of the show again. The backlog is a segment of the Lothian Podcast where we go through our entire video game collection, a collection of 973 games. Every game we've ever bought, we put into a little Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, and regardless of whether or not we've played it. 281 is the number that we picked. 281. That would be Mario Kart DS for the DS. Okay, I recently jumped back into this on an emulator. Okay. And I forgot why. Uh, it might have been uh, on my phone. Okay. That, so yes. Uh, yeah, I think I played it on Delta, on the Delta emulator. Okay. Um, it's fine. It's a fine it's game. A, it's a good Mario Kart game. I remember I got the, when I got my DS, I got the Mario Kart DS, the red one, mm -hmm. and that came bundled with the game. And like, I think of all the games I got when I got my DS, like, it was honestly, I think, the one I played the most. The original big DS, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That mom lost. Yes. I think we found it. We did find it. I have yeah, it at, I have it at my house. I need to replace the battery in it, but that's another story. Our mother started playing it because she was playing uh, Brain Age. Yeah, and it wasn't working because she forgot where she put my DS. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, this game's fun. I'm not a huge Mario Kart fan. The, the, yeah, like... I don't like how the game kind of uh, rewards you for doing bad. I don't yeah. I, that and Mario Party. I don't like how Mario Party is a worse offender. It's much it. worse because yeah. Mario Party will just give you stars. Because at for least being like with place. Mario Kart, it has a much better multiplayer aspect. Because even if you're doing the races, which has has the same rubber banding AI issue, you're still playing with your friends, so it's mm -hmm. still possible to have a good time. Uh, and, and it's I guess it's helpful. It's one of the most normy games. Yeah, like, like anybody can pick it up and play it, especially uh, the later games where. There's like basically bumpers on the edge. Yeah. Like, like it's got auto steering. Yeah. But uh, it's fun for everybody because of that rubber banding. Because if you're not doing too good, you could just get a bullet bill and shoot the first yeah. place. Um, but this particular one had multiplayer and I think only one guy needed it. Uh, I don't know about that. I do know that this was the first DS game, maybe the first Nintendo game to, to utilize the uh, Wi-Fi connection. Like the like their yeah. internet uh, functionality. This is around the same time as the Wii was doing it, so it was the this was the first online Mario Kart game, and like they pushed that hard, and it was great because I could play with my friends like in different homes, or like when we got together, we could all hook up on the on the same network. It was it was good. It ran well. You know, this is this is before Nintendo like really started screwing up online. So so the game also features a multiplayer mode in which eight players race each other using the ds download play feed okay for consoles without a cartridge or a multi-card wireless lan connection this version has limited courses available and players with no cartridges play as shy guy oh i remember yeah unavailable yeah. in normal play. yeah i think that i did this yeah uh, i remember that yeah i remember sitting at my friend's house mm -hmm. uh and playing it this way mm -hmm. we were full grown adults at the uh 2005 yeah uh, yeah because well, i wanted it in college yeah yeah i was still in high school right but i think it was i mean i played the ds like way yeah after i was out of high school but uh yeah i know i remember sitting at a friend's house and i remember not having the game or no. maybe i had it and my friends didn't uh but uh yeah i remember playing it with there are multiple people without cards. Yeah. And uh, we played it that way. And uh, that was really cool to be able to do that. Yeah. Nintendo these days probably would never. Yeah. Absolutely. Being able to yeah. like share well, a game and play on your own cartridge without having the game. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't because you can't do that in Mario Kart 8. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to talk about a game like this because ostensibly there's like. There's not much. There's to not it. much to it. It's it's a Mario Kart game. Yeah. On the DS. Yeah. Um, it's fine as yeah. far as Mario Kart games go. It's pretty much exactly what you would expect I from mean, Mario Kart games. It's, it, it's a good Mario Kart game. It like, looks good comparatively. Yeah. Even though it's just playing on the DS. Yeah. 
and it controls good. Yeah. And again, you can get this and you can put it on your Delta emulator on your phone and yeah. wow your friends. I was with my friends yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, one of which doesn't really play a lot of games, and I was showing him how you could play all of your uh, retro stuff, like yeah. Pokemon or whatever, on your phone. And he was like, what? And I pulled out Mario 64 and I handed it to him. He was like, oh my God, it's great. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I, it's very easy to dump DS games uh, mm -hmm. if you have a hacked 3DS. It's very easy to hack a 3DS. Yeah. Uh, you could, uh, you just dump it. You just hack your 3DS and you hit a, like a, a couple buttons and then you can dump the ROM and then you can put it on your phone. Yeah. And it's great. So, uh, and I think that there's ways to do the multiplayer within emulators yeah i think so i think i think there's uh i think retro dodo just released an article about doing that same thing with citra for 3ds games. yeah well because if it's online if you can like clone the the server code and stuff that shouldn't be a problem yeah you know I think the the local multiplayer, or like the LAN multiplayer, it might be a little bit an issue because that's probably proprietary uh, signals and stuff. Yeah, but, uh, local connections on yeah. iPhones don't work. Right. That's ad hoc. Like they yeah. used to, it used to be ad hoc Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so I don't know if you haven't played this game, but you like Mario Kart, you'll like this game just fine. Yeah. Uh, but by the same token, like Mario Kart Eight exists, and it is. The better game. Yeah. We so, are not Mario Kart people. We're, I'm more of a Mario Kart person than you are, but like I by the same token, I'm like, you know, I can't really recommend this game when like the newer, better version of the game exists. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So Yeah. It's yeah. it's a good curio. If you are like a DS hardcore guy or girl, I would I would recommend it. I don't know how because Mario Kart seven is the three DS version of the game, so I don't know how those two compare. Um, but like you could probably get Mario Kart DS for cheaper, so I'm gonna get that one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's Mario Kart shi DS shitty episode baby. of the backlog. Which <laughs> number Mario Kart is? I want to say this was. It's just called Mario Kart DS, but it definitely has a number associated. Yeah, I want to say it's like the fifth or sixth Mario Kart game because Super Mario Kart is one, sixty four is two, Super Circuit is three. Double Dash is four. DS is five. Wii is eight. No, Wii is six. And then they just started. Well, numbering. seven was three, yes. Yes. And then eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. We uh, did it, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for watching the backlog. Thank you, Farmer Gooch, for the 10 bucks. You'll, you would know what that meant if you watched the podcast. Yeah. So maybe watch the podcast. Huh? Uh, goodbye, backlog viewers. Bye.